Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Everyman Show. Hey, hey, hey. Right? I feel a hey, hey, hey moment going on. Oh, yeah, you do? Yeah, because you got the outfit. I mean, we're, we're out here. I, I mean, you said I looked nice earlier, right? Yes, you So I, I feel like we're, we're both looking nice out. Taylor. We're out. Also We're not at the beach, mm -hmm. but it feels like I am right now. I feel like it's a tropical oasis. Right? Yeah, like we're lost at the tropical oasis. You, you feel know? like, but, but seriously, I have I, I know guys were talking like we're at a, we're at a sink for a moment, but do you feel like if if if, if like for whoever's watching this right now? Mm -hmm. What do you think you can tell me you thought we were without telling them where we really are? We're like on an island, right? Like a tropical yeah, yeah, island. Yeah, yeah, island. That's what I feel like it is. It's like a like a tropical island. With a farm. With right. See that that's that's the interesting side. But it, but we could have left the farm out instead. We're on a tropical island, and people would have never like. Realize where we are, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here stumbling because I'm already fucking half. Like I've, I've been smoking, I've been drinking, I've been celebrating, ladies and gentlemen. It is our season five finale episode. We are here celebrating here in Tammy, hanging out, checking out something special. We're watching a live performance of a speakeasy. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You hear me right. I'm at a speakeasy event. We're hanging out, celebrating at a beautiful location called Margaret's Speakeasy. It's somewhere down here in Homestead. How could you best describe Homestead to someone? Have you? Let me ask you, have you been down here before? Once. Years ago. Once? Years ago? Yes. Like how many years are we talking? Like decade? Five. Uh, like COVID-38. Probably longer. COVID-44. Really? Yeah. So, what's, what, okay, so how would you describe someone Homestead where they haven't been? Hmm. If you want to find beautiful nursery farms, gardens, this is not, I don't know. The most that's beautiful. That's how you, that's how you describe else. homestead, you like know, beautiful I mean, gardens. Yes, you know, right. because what okay. areas of homestead are you going to? Okay, okay, I know okay. I'm giving you like a the garden is like small. Word. Yeah, the Delta variant. Okay, so what do you like about the whole vibe? Do you feel bougie? Do you feel like famous? Yeah. Oh, do you feel important? I do feel a little important. Yeah. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not, I'm not you do, right? I I mean, I do. I'm in the center. I feel like but I'm I on a boss goddess. My plant pants say I'm a boss, right? right? Oh, yeah. It does, like right? And you got the sequence of it. I feel like we're like, like I'm a, Yeah, I feel like like I'm a, I'm the New Day mobster mm. in Vegas, mm. and you're like my, my like my henchman, and you control all the women that I have to control around yeah, yeah, making it. money. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. This is great. I love what we got going on here. Um, but yeah, guys. I mean, with us out here, I, I feel like we've got this vibe. We're in the scene. It's, it's I think more like Miami Vice since we're down here. I mean, we're in Homestead, which for those who don't know, Homestead is a farm free city. Um, it has its little paradise areas, so that's why you see these things out here. But um, I got to say that Homestead uh, is very interesting. But we're out here hanging out. But it is like Miami, but I was going to say we're like Miami Vice, right? I did all I've been partying too much. I think my brain is all over the place. Right you too, right? So you in the vibe too? Like, uh, you've had too many already? Yeah. I feel it so bad, and we haven't even popped the bubble. I know. That's we're getting you know, ready we're to celebrate. We have, a, we have so many so, guest people. I'm here just rambling and talking. But I can't wait to get to some of these guests. Are you ready to hang out with some more people to close out the year? Because we got to make this a party. Definitely. After we have a, we definitely have a proper bottle. We deserve to celebrate. This we do. Very, I think with our first guest, I think we need to do it with the, with oh, the first right, guest that comes in. Right. Well, guys, sitting with us here tonight is our first guest here on the season five finale extravaganza party here at the Everyman Show. This first guest we have here is very interesting to say the least because and, and, and not just in the person but in so many things that you've done because I, I you know we've talked already since the time we put this together and um your story has been fascinating to me when we've even messaged each other some of the things you've already told me about yourself but guys we have sitting here the 
individual that is responsible for the curation of this speakeasy tonight here at Margaret's Speakeasy down here in Homestead, Florida, guys. That is such a beautiful location, mind you. I wish I could... You'll see the stage in a minute, but it is phenomenal. She is the creator of this uh, of this I event. Women. And, uh, women. and again, there's another the venue that you're probably... Okay. That I feel like your name is more interesting to me tied into that name before this show. But I'll get to that in a second. Ladies and gentlemen, we have sitting here with us Kristen. Kristen, welcome to the show. Thank you. Yes. Kristen, thank you so much. Kristen, so... Huh? It's always good to be here at Margaret Speakeasy. It is, right? And this is, listen, with this location, mm -hmm. I mean, why wouldn't you want to do a, a so speakeasy out here, you know? Just hang out, sit back here, watch some entertainment in the sand. Do people skinny dip in here or dive in the water? I'm not going to joke. It has happened. It has happened. I was like, Debbie, please get out. And she's like, no, I'm swimming. There were other there were other beautiful ladies just swimming all day long. And they're like, it's fine. And I said, it's, it's fine. So people swim in there? Yes. People swim. I won't. You won't. But Why is people that? do. Because. I took this one girl <laughs> down to. Because. <laughs> the, that's, that, that's that answer that everyone says when they got. Oh, I have. No, that's that. You know. You know. know. Is there no, something no, that we should know? Are there piranhas in there? No, no. It's aquifer. Like Someone peed in there. Rudder. No, I'm, I'm sure fish pee in there. And you can almost do that with fish pee in there? There's probably a fish. fish in there? There could Let's be a frog. Take, uh, there could be a frog. There could be, sure. this is Florida. Sweet. There could be an alligator. Right. There could be an alligator? So for sure, I ain't never going to go in there. But don't yeah, worry. We should have talked about you. the logistics of the show kidding. beforehand. There's no alligator. I'm not scared. The, the, I know you're not. The gator don't want any... <laughs> but this is a gorgeous location. Um, Kristen, you know, I, I know we don't have a lot of time here with you right I now, but I wanted to, you know, really first bring you on the show as our first guest because, you know, this event that you put together, it's fascinating. I really like um, very quickly, tell us how did you come about putting this open mic together? I knew we were okay, fucked well, as a society. I don't do anything it, on my own, you know, grade, but I'll tell you, class, this, front row, this was all done by God. says, the only reason we don't have sex with this, animals this 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 foundation called mana right mana is an acronym for mitzvot and now new achavat which means good deeds and now new love it's a serial program is that yiddish or something yeah it's a little bit hebrew it it it, it, it basically we we have a serial program and we give kosher cereal to the food bank in north miami this started because well, this, this beautiful fact, base was nothing but rocks and dirt. It was planted by Donald Pumpkin. Now, he's a tree farmer. I'm so sorry. Bring the mic up just a little more up your shirt, closer to... to, 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 to yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay. There you go. Can you hear me now? There you go. Okay. So, Donald is a tree farmer and a landscaper. I worked with him. I, I was doing this thing. He's like, oh, I know, I know a mango farmer. He can, he can get you some mangoes for the food bank. I'm like, oh, great idea. This was like in the inception of man. I didn't know we were going to only do cereal. Do you know how to so I get to the, the, the orchard, it's and in the middle like of this beautiful mango orchard, orchard a is a stage. And I'm like, what I'm saying is do you so know the hard artist in Miami? And he's like, no. And I'm like, do you want to? They're thinking about putting Whoa, like, it's party yes. time in here. Mm -hmm. All right. This, this, this guy knows how to party. You're good. You're good. Flash your <laughs> balls. I don't know if you guys so do drugs. I was so like, go, no, let's do it. Let's do it every drugs. week. La, 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 la. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I was really excited. And then they were not so excited. And so I go back to Don. I'm like, oh, you know, they're not going to do it. Them. And he's like, why can't we do this here? I said, oh, yes, we could do this here. Because for sure, you know I wanted to do this here. Like, no, for real. The, but the, he's my the, boss. I don't want to overstep so, nothing. So, so this guy like happens to be your your, your boss. Yes. And he has this beautiful place like back here. And he planted this entire garden Listen himself. If you Margaret want to do is the name God. of his mother. Margaret is the name of his mother. Margaret is the name okay. of his mother. So we named the garden after her. Margaret. Margaret. Easy. Doesn't want to hang out with you. Margaret. Put a lot of my teachers ahead, in place. Right? I went Why to school in New York. Five, six, seven years. However long College. And um, she put my teachers, my dean, and all these people. She's like been that. Margaret has been planting. Margaret Pelton has been planting seeds of artists listen, if we're gonna go for that over far, fifty we're years here in Miami. We are going so we named the garden after her to honor her, and we named the speakeasy after the garden. Now I know that your background isn't. This isn't your first time. You were a former host as well. 
we're at the legendary bar and Church pub, Hills. Churchill's. Yes. yes. Now, we from to, you told me not, when last time we spoke, we no you were the first one that initiated the open mic Legalized back there law. in Churchill's. Yeah. So you're it. the first original we host. For Theater Day Underground, I found it. The- you found the Theater Day Underground. I hosted it for the first six and a half years. I trained somebody and else, Betty, to, 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 to host for We're me. He trained somebody else. She trained somebody else. And then and Taylor came on the scene and saved everything. And that was 21 years ago. Every Sunday, Sunday. Now, did you realize, did you ever keep up after those six and a half years with the ongoing show? No. Oh, I, I've been out of the scene for a good solid 10, 10 years before we started this, right? Because I have family, you know, I have children, I've, 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 I spend my time at home, you know, I have, I have three boys, three awesome boys, David Oscar and, um, and yeah, they've actually, some artists in my family and my, my boys have actually sold artwork here, we are finally gonna we find have out consistently what had artists sell work here, not just my children. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That is that is amazing. Now, th- really are you surprised to to have found out? I'm sure by now you know how long the uh, yeah, Underground drink. lasted and drink the success away, it people, built. When I came back on the scene, I can't drink anymore. Somebody else, right? Rio, back at Rio. Like I used to drink. Yeah, to Rio. Shout out to Rio. Right, like, Rio. I never knew um, my limit. Yeah, man. He, you know I mean? like, he basically I says, "Hey, let me off. show you the last host of Theater the Underground." I said, "What did you say?" I didn't even know. I didn't even know. I was still going on. I was so elated. I can't even. I can't even describe to you the. I gotta tell you that the irony in that is that you know I I attribute a lot of my earlier years, even when Real was hosting, me cultivating a lot of my comedy work there. It, it, and, and it helped me to a point that when I went and did larger shows, Make that, that place count. was amazing. It, Theater of the Underground is iconic. Churchill's Pub finish. itself is iconic. Totally. Um, Legendary. Yeah. And to know that you created that and for me to have met you is almost like an honor in itself. Dude. So is there anything you do outside of hosting or do you have any artist career or any artist profession that you work on? Um, well, I... I I I am a the solo is in my church. I said, <laughs> you sing in a choir? Uh, we don't have a choir. We just we have me and then all the congregation knows how to open their mouth and they sing loudly. Okay. okay. So so they do that. So together we make a choir. They just don't all stand up with me. <laughs> I got it. I got it. So what's your biggest passion then? God and my children and. I got all the way up and art. <gasps> I'm, I believe in the artists in Miami. That's why I started this. That's not with funny. This, you're going to put all this, your heart into something. You don't put your heart into something. He goes, you just say the I believe in you. I believe in her. You know, I believe in him. You know, look at what he's producing. Look at what he's putting out there. Look at what he's making tonight. CIA. This, this, okay. One, not. The dude is already no, left. Sir, one of one of our audience members came here. Say he the alphabet, brought four I'll bags of, of of cereal for manna. Right. right. We 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 this this night is 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 part of outreach. I'm out it's out, right it, it, it's, it's touching people. It's feeding hungry mouths. When you're hosting a show, <laughs> ladies you don't and gentlemen, rip off Kristen, the that's Excuse how me. live recordings go. Mm-hmm. That's how live recordings go. You like All that? The time. So guys, sitting with us, man, is a comedian. This is a fellow brethren to me because I'm still a comedian. I don't care if I don't get on stage. I was on stage right now. I haven't been on stage so long. I felt it. I was like, man, I feel myself choking up. I was like, what is this? Like, I feel rusty. It was a while for me. But our next guest, he's not been a while for him, but it's been a while that I haven't seen him. Okay. And when he pulled up, I'm telling you, I was like, my heart filled with joy. This is a dear friend that I've seen in the comedy trails. He's a, com- a comedian from, stop me if I'm wrong, from the Fort Lauderdale area, right? So good. I don't get to talk to too many Fort Lauderdale comedians on this show. We've had a couple from West Palm Beach and Fort Lauderdale. I get a lot of the more Miami talent. But having someone 
from Fort Lauderdale. It makes it real interesting. Guys, we have my man Zero. Thank you. Welcome to the show, man. It's season five, Tammy. Pour him some champagne. You want some of the pink or you want some of some of the uh, of the other ones? Yeah, oh, it's pink? Yeah. Okay, poor, poor. there you go. It's season five, man. We're celebrating yeah. with our guests. It's our fi It's our finale. And, uh, man, we're glad to have you on. And we want to make sure that you come and have a toast with us. Cheers, cheers to season five, my friend. Likewise, cheers. Thank you, man. Cyril, now, now, Cyril, you said now you're from Fort Lauderdale, but are you born and raised from there? Born in Buffalo. So you're from Buffalo, New York originally? Okay, but then you grew up in the Forest. Yeah? Really? You went to LA first? What'd you do out there? Great ideas. Oh, I was gonna have you. Oh, I'm 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 gonna have you.
Right. Oh, we'll write it down. I like to perform it as fast as I can. That way it's kind of like Sarah, where can people check you out normally? I have my Instagram is Mojo by Also. I have a TikTok. Mojo Shining. Spell Mojo with M O J O by Also. Okay. Uh, Cyril, listen, man, it's been real fun hanging out with you. Uh, hopefully, we're gonna have you on next year, man, or in a future episode, a little more and talk to you a little more in depth. What's the biggest thing you're doing in 2023 for people to expect? Uh, check out these uh, these shorts on TikTok that I'm gonna start. Oh nice. Yeah. TikTok. And it's gonna be under Mojo Payaso. Mojo Shining. Mojo Okay. Okay. All right. Here goes that guy. Zero, thank you so much, my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, the legendary from a lot of Dale comic. Zero. Make sure you give him a good follow, people, or check him out if you're ever in the Fort Lauderdale or probably in South Florida in general. Probably beyond. Who knows, Zero? Zero's got a freaking fedora. He's anywhere. Guys, sitting here with us, man, this is an artist that I've, I've been very familiar with. I've had many years of hearing stages with him and seeing him perform. Um, super talented, man. Let me tell you, man, you are so talented. I love every time I see you on stage. I feel like for me, it's a real enjoyment. And uh, our next guest here... His name is Cyrex. Cyrex, oh, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank thank you. you. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Yeah. There you go. Cheers. Thank you for coming. So, so Cyrex, I feel like it's a long time coming, man. I feel like I've been wanting to have you on this show a long time. You know, I, 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 I feel like there's so many people that I have like that, but I never get a chance right away to get them on on, on the show and get a chance to talk to some glad that I got a chance to see you out here tonight performing and uh, and coming here to hang out with us most definitely. Cyrex, tell me, man, how long have you been an artist? So, okay, that, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad you actually asked that specific question. That's different from how long I've been writing because I was, I was prepared to... No, no, no. As an artist in general, but artists, you know, writing is a form of artistry. So, you know, wherever you want to answer it and you feel that it is. Oh, I feel like, you know, like seeing, seeing myself, at least seeing myself as Cyrex the artist, as something that I want to, like, take this forward. To, you know, to pursue this. Yeah, yeah. So I would say, I was the early, early saw myself as a solo artist that I was in group for that. Yeah, uh, 2009. 2009. Yeah. Okay, so when you saw yourself as an artist. Yeah. But how long have you been rhyming? Because you're making it sound like there's some predating you. Since 95. <laughs> Imagine that. Since 87, baby. Oh, Hammer time. You know, I, was, I was a sperm just like kicking around. You feel me? Well, for me, it would have been around that time. I would have challenged Hammer, but I would have been seven years old. Well, okay. So so, so initially, when did, when did it all kind of start for you? I started writing in 06. I started really writing my own songs in like 08. Uh, with the group that I was with. And then I uh, really started like, just being Cyrex on my own in 09. Um, really started performing in 2014. So 2014 is where you really started to take it to that level. Why did you want to become an artist? When I first, uh, like, Wrote my, when, I wrote, when I wrote my first verses, it was kind of crazy because I was like, whoa, I can do this. Like, I, I surprised myself and I was like, this actually, I mean, I was like, yo, this actually doesn't sound like a complete hot mess. And it felt good too. It feels good. Being able to express myself that way. Being able to do what I can with the English language, being able to do what I can with the English language, it's fun, it's expressive, it keeps me from going wild. Like I said, spit the lines that like the lava or go crazy off it. So, so you, you initially 
but what drove you to want to write? Like, what what moment did that happen? How did you know you wanted to even write at the beginning? Like, write rhymes. I don't know because I've always been when I think when I start thinking about it, I think I've always wanted to be kind of an entertainer, just in the sense, at least in the sense of like. I've always wanted to make people laugh or smile or something. Mm-hmm. But anyway, um, but when I, when a dude that I knew in middle school, when I saw him rapping, it was his own raps. It was his, and he would freestyle. He was a very talented freestyler for, especially for a thirteen-year-old. You know, sounds like you know some dudes you hear on the radio. You know. Yeah. But when I got there. I even I was never like the best freestyle, so I can't. But (laughs) this is a dude who's in the same middle school as me, the same about the same age as me. Probably living not too not too far from the same life as me. So why can't I do that kind of beauty? Okay. Okay. So I tried to act yourself. Okay. This girl was so. Sorry, it sounded like I just like. No. Why can't I do this? So what artist inspired you? The more I began so, to make I her was, smile, but the feeling was all during that time. Well, was a feeling that was quite the you know, a feeling that I had felt in a very long time. Because I was, I, I didn't even know how to go deep as far as as far as the music I was listening. At 13, 14. Yeah, I mean, Bone Thugs and G Unit is a good start. You know, that's pretty hardcore. You know, you went from like. Bow Wow soft raps oh, wow. to so I her everything we go. Oh, there they go. Like no, I, I mean that's that's good. That's a good way to start. You know your journey into hip hop world. Uh, but that's dope. So were some were those guys your inspirations at the time then initially? Kind of because I was really into especially if I could rap something that, especially fast. That was like that was something that really made me feel accomplished too. Mm-hmm. Well, but as I went on more, further, you know, I did kind of a deep dive. Um, like my stepdad came into my life, like, he's like, he's like a hip hop head. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah, so, all right then. Just stuff that he was putting me onto, and like he had like all the J Z CDs. Yeah. So I was able to rip them all onto my computer. That's your favorite. Jay Z has been my favorite, for one of at least one of my favorites for a very long mm-hmm. time. So he was a heavy influence during like my, I would say high school years. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, expanding, I would add in The Roots, Talib Kweli, MF Doom has been huge, uh, Earl Sweatshirt, and even more recent dudes like Mavi, Mike, um, Armin Hammer. Okay. Hey, Rick's man, what's your, uh, what's your opinion with hip-hop right now and the music scene in general? So, I, I really don't like to be one of those, like, these days, you know, things... Because what's what's going on these days Back is a, in my kind days. of a symptom also of what's been going on. It's like a culmination. Uh, it's a culmination kind of of what's been going on. But uh, to answer just the question directly, based on a lot of what I'm hearing, uh, I, I really stick to like uh, you know the newer artists that I like, and I, and I try to find newer artists that I like. Because um, it feels like the radio is just gonna keep being the radio. It's just gonna keep being the stuff that's right. like, oh wow, this is this is crazy and catchy and like, you know. Uh, so the, yeah. the dudes who can get their nut on the radio, uh, that's a, that's a league joke. Yeah. <laughs> if you can if you can get on the radio, you know that's cool. But that's that's really not what I'm into. Cyrus, what's the, what's next for you in 2023? 2023, we get back on it. See, this pandemic has been kind of a reset for a lot of people. See, 2023. Free Rex 3 may come. K Rex is coming. Okay. Free Rex 1 and 2 are out. They've been out since 2018, 2019, respectively. Okay. K Rex is coming. Okay. And I ain't going to tell y'all the, the name of it, unfortunately. Just, you know, Pay, Pay Rex is the code name. Okay, favorite. But, uh, but yeah, that, that. Shit, real shit's coming. And so a lot of it's gonna be produced by me. So okay. where can people follow? Where can people get download your album? Cyrex MC, C Y R E X M C. And we're uh, also on all the platforms. Payrex is gonna be on the platform. Spotify, Apple, Amazon. I don't know if you know how to search, but I finally saw a commercial for these in the future. Yeah, I think it's for Okay. So, all the things that you can think of, I'm probably there. There is at least a 90% chance that I'm there. And it's spelled Cyrex.
C Y R E X, and then C Y R E X M C. I'll even do phonetics. Charlie Yankee Romeo Hector X, You feel me? I'll be doing this as many times. He hooked you guys. Oh, capital C, the rest, lowercase, capital, whatever you want. Listen, man, I'm happy to have had you here. Hopefully, we can have you in the future with a more of an episode. I know it's all to you a little further, but my man. With the best of luck in 2023. People, check out my man Cyrus. Cyrus, thank you for hanging out, my man. Yo, if you ain't too big, you need to tune in to every man podcast. Follow every man podcast. Every man podcast. So we got Edwin Carmona sitting with us now. We got a photographer, which I love photographers because in the world that we're in right now, they're the most popular people in the world. Everyone loves a picture. Everyone wants So this is great. I think it's great to have you on the show. Welcome to the show. We got to do a toast with my friend Edwin. All right. Okay, let's get him right. Everyone in here takes a celebration, man. Um, you know, it's every year. Is that yeah. it? Yeah, over there. There's a far one up there. Over there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's get it right. All right. And then you, you'll, you'll be over there. There we go. Oh, thank you. That's where our good friend yeah. Edwin. Does that mean you got yours? You're good? You don't need a refresher. You're, you're still hanging strong? A little, a little top off? Yeah. I got it. All right. Hey, Walter. Are we good on the mics? Because I feel like we're, 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 we're in the concert. Are we good on the left? Okay. Here you go. So, anyway. Again, thank you for joining the show. Cheers, my friend. Welcome to the Everyman Season 5 finale episode. Now, I like what you're wearing. Are you some sort of... Um, so yeah, like, I'm a basketball referee. Okay. Uh, so you're a basketball referee? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, so like the uh, AAU leagues and stuff? Uh, uh yes. Now, this is interesting. You look, though, as if you're ready to go take pictures for the Dolphins or when they play the Lions. I'm not going to lie. You look like a sports photographer. Oh, that's a good one. He does. Like, I see wow. the camera. No, this is a pretty big lens. What's yes, going on here? Yes, it is. 100 to 400. Have you seen the pictures of us using that lens? Okay, so another one question is, how many pictures do I have in my nose at this time? Zero. Zero? <laughs> Okay, because that lens must be able to see my boogers and what's going on in my brain. Like, does it register thoughts with the pens that power? You can see thoughts on the pen? No? No? Wow, it's amazing. So, okay, going back to the referee thing, do the kids play dirty? Um... It's really tough. It's really tough. I mean, um, uh, we do a lot of things, a lot of work and stuff, but, um, we can't see it. But, um, they do No, they're not. They're not playing dirty. They're not, they're not elbowing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they do. They're dirty as hell, right? Little nasty-ass kids. Now, do you call... Do you... Follow tough game, or you mean it? Uh, no, I I like to uh, be in the uh, in the now. Whatever whatever comes my way, like, yeah. uh, like today, today I did uh, uh, the second place. Uh, uh, so do you ever have parents boo at you for being a sucky ref? Do they go ref? Oh, you yeah, suck. Yeah, yeah, you get yeah, ref, yeah. you suck, chance. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Are you serious? Oh no, and all the parents, like, and the, and the coaches, and I've gotten like many names. Yeah. Wow. Know. Have they have they been like really mean with you? Oh yeah, like I've gotten that stuff. Yeah. Give me the meanest what? thing they've said. Oh, um, uh, next oh, time I see you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put. Uh, what? Yeah. 
Yeah, we're getting it. We're getting it. Oh, so you get scared? Are you scared? No, no, no. Uh, uh, here's, here's, uh, here's a percentage. Uh, got a bunch of breath for me. So, uh, I'll see you later. 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 I'll see you have they ever bribed you to call a game? No. Oh. You've never been on the tape for the big championship. Oh, you. So you don't get no problem. Like, hey, look. They, they, in the fourth quarter, in the fourth quarter, play for foul on number seven. Play for foul on number seven. Here's some school fun. You're going to take that to the Olive Garden. You got to bring it yeah, but like if I want, if I want number 45 to get ejected out of the game right there with a tie, oh, yeah, with two minutes to go, what's your price? Because like I, I bought you my phone. Like I forgot to read it. First, to actually be like, hey, no, like, I'm a work here. You know? He's spoken like an honest referee, man. That's a real, he upholds the bat. He upholds the strikes. He's not taking bribes, people. And we said no bribes. Wow. No friends. I mean, come on, come on, come on. Like, if, I, if, I, if, I, if, I, if we got six zeros, if we got six zeros, I'm really, really going down. Really going down. Oh, I know, I know what you're going to do. Beyond referee, obviously you're holding the camera. Is this, is this your profession? Do you want to live in this world? Oh, uh, yes. I do both of these things. I do both of these things. I'm so proud of them. I started up. I started this business. Okay. The people in my life. Yeah. So you did. It started. It started like a passion. Like a passion. Yeah, exactly. Okay. My passion is the voice. Oh, okay. Well, like, really? Yeah. Yeah. So between the the first part of the referee. Referee is more important to you. Wow. wow. So referee. <laughs> uh, so you don't like you don't like photography? Oh uh, no, like I got my vision from my blood dad, you know, and and, and he's uh Georgia, he does um environments and stuff like that, animals and stuff. So um after that, like I'm like I'm like hey, you know what, like like after nine years of you know, airport. Um like uh I mean Life happened, and then now, now, they can get me the books. I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful. That's pretty awesome. So, with photography, have you done anything notable? Have you done any big events? Oh, yeah, I've done, 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 Oh, so you'll take pictures from the most events? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Like, I got like cool and stuff. I'm not a guy. That's kind of cool. What are your favorite subjects to take pictures of? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, what what sports? Any of them or any in particular? I've done uh, volleyball. I've done basketball. I've done uh, soccer. I've done a whole bunch. But like, I'm willing to do it. You had a dream opportunity to take pictures of any game. Which one would you want to do it Or uh, like well, uh, the 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 dream would be like definitely like, 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 as a photographer. I'd be like, what game though? Oh, like, it could like, be a game whole game, game or game, I don't know. Like I would, I would be like an old game or maybe uh, maybe twenty five. Since you're more passionate this referee, what would be the ultimate dream game to? Ultimate dream game to referee. Uh, 
my story, like, the future, anything, um, so, uh, now, if for that opportunity, would you call one of the referee games to take the seat? Can Billy get tossed out of the game now? Can be not even for a dream opportunity, then we get fucking little Billy injection out of the game. Okay. Now, as a referee, yeah. I want you to call this situation right now. Has there been a lot of fouls? Have you been playing a clean game in here? What's your opinion right now? Oh, of this? Yes. Oh, yeah. This, this, I can appreciate that. Yeah. But has there been any fouls, any technical fouls? Have we been playing a clean game in here? Oh, no, yeah. Yeah, no technical fouls at all. No technical fouls? Sure. I mean, because Walter's a walking technical foul by himself. Are you yeah. sure? No, 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 no. Yeah, I respect it. Okay. Apparently they like Walter. I don't know why people like Walter, but it is what it is. Yeah, that's Um, My friend, I, I think you're a joy. I didn't realize we were going to explore the world of refereeing. This has made, I think this has been my favorite interview so far. I, I'm sorry, Eduardo. I, I think you're, it's Eduardo, right? Edwin, Edwin. Edwin, I'm sorry. See, my favorite guy, and I don't know his name. Edwin, this has been my favorite interview so far. I enjoyed every second of you hanging out with us right now. So, where can people follow you? Check out some of your photography. Uh, pros prosperous underscore eyes with a Z. Okay. All right, guys, my friend Edwin, photographer, true referee, doesn't go down, doesn't take a take. He is an honest referee. Yeah. I'm going to test him after the show. I might find him later to see where it's his level is. You got to have a sweet spot. I mean, I mean, that, what's that dude in the NBA, Dottery? He took a dive. He took a dive. Uh, no, I actually, I actually went to the uh, 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 Instagram uh, 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 Okay. Alright. My friend, it's been a real pleasure for me to thank you for joining us. My friend, Edwin, the true referee. And he says we're falling the twin gates. I love it. My friend, we'll see. Thank you so much for joining um, again, Tammy Unlimited, thank you, baby. Thank you, thank you. You're the best. To so my main squeeze out there, I love you. I wish you would have sat here. I don't know why I didn't let you. Whatever. Yeah, see, she's complaining. I'm glad she is. All right. Guys, all. it's thank a wrap. So it's much. season five, the finale. Thank We're done. I'm much. hoping you enjoyed the second part and the first part of this. I am John Everyman. Make sure you give us a follow. Guys, you see that box popping up, that like and subscribe. Make sure you follow us. Keep yourself up to date. Keep up. We will still post stuff. Again, we'll see you. Peace. Peace. I feel like half this podcast is not watching this movie while we're out. We can edit that. No excuses. No excuses. No excuses. They said they ain't cutting the lights off. Okay, uh, <laughs> I was just making sure. They don't sure. pay me enough. Yeah, the sound guy says it's over. <laughs> Fuck you. I don't even care if I got nothing to do with the electricity. I'm just out of here.